Welcome back, everyone. This is Frank with Charlie Zero Oscar. One of the challenging things about placing a mount in an Outback, a Subaru Outback, is that um, the bumper tends to extend out, as you can see. And the stability of a mount is super important. Most people will agree that the um, diamond, uh, 400K is the best mount you can buy. It has this lip, and this lip allows you to give, you, give the antenna more stabilization. Unfortunately, when you mount it on the car, right here, right, let's say you mounted it here, this lip comes out, and when this gate comes down, it will scratch this plastic and it already did on mine right here. I was very, very confident this would work, and it didn't. So, what do you use instead? Well, you have to use, most likely, one of these. And this one's the Comet RS720, but there's also a 730 as well. The 730 tends to be a little bit more robust. Uh, you see that? Th this one uh, that's mounted to the car, that's the 730, this one's the 720. And you can see there's a size difference. So this one's better to hold the antenna. Okay, now that's great, that's awesome. And you can buy the uh, mounts separately. And so that's what I did. I bought the mount separately because I have, and this is just this, I have, um, because I have the rest of the pieces that go, you know, for the mount. Um, now, one thing that I've noticed about the Comet um, mount is that these screws in the bottom, these screws here, the worm screws that, that connect to the uh, middle of the car, well, it turns out that uh, that metal piece, that metal piece, right, these screws do not conduct with this, nor does it conduct with this, and nor will it conduct with the wire that you'll have, right, the wire that goes to the radio the coax. So that's, that's, um, that's a little bit disheartening. Now, how do you know it doesn't? Well, take a multimeter, okay? Take a multimeter, and it usually has a function where when you touch it, it um, there's a, a circuit, right, a connection. That's connected, right, to the bottom, and no, no path, no electrical path, because it's painted and it's well done, right? Even between, even between the screws, it won't, right? Even between the screws, it won't. So there's an issue, a big issue, because the idea here is that these screws have to touch the metal has to. Why? Because when it touches the metal, right, it will, and the hatchback, it will touch these. That is connected to the metal of the car, and eventually it will be here. Right here. This one. which I know this is connected to the frame of the car. You wanna do this because when you're radiating, right? When, you're, when your antenna is in operation, and I'm gonna lower this down. By the way, I'm over here in Bolsa Chica State Beach. And this is a, um, this is a 3 8 mount, by the way. 3 8 mount, this is a shunt, and this is the, um, this antenna is the 
a little Tar Heel, super awesome antenna. Now, this radiating uh, uh, antenna right here, right? It radiates out. This one's the uh, positive, but it also has to have a ground. Where is that? It's the car. The car will provide the, the ground or the ground plane. Now, the cable uh, for this uh, 3.8 looks like this. Let me show you. It's right here, see? This one is for the radiating element, the positive one or the, the one that has the, the metal, the, um, the center, the center line. And then the shielding is this one. This is the ground. So it has two separate ones. And you can see that here. Right here. Now let me get, let me get this guy here. See that? This is, this is the center pin, which is connected to the antenna. See this bolt right here? Let me see this other bolt. Uh, I believe that's 3 eighths, right? All that is for the radiating antenna. Um, and then there's this plastic here. This plastic protects it, protects it from the ground, which is here. This, is, this piece right here is the ground. That's the ground, this would be the ground, that's the ground, that's the ground, ground plane and all that. All that has to be connected to the car somehow. Um, the ground is right here. Okay, the other piece of the coax, you can sort of see it right there. Now, the shunt uh, for the uh, little Tar Heel, this shunt, is really connected to the center pin and the and the um, um, the shielding, right? The center pin, right, and the shielding. So it's a, it's called a shunt because it won't circuit the the um, the antenna because it's an AC current, and AC goes up and down, right? Positive, negative, and because it goes up and down, this this will hold it back. To going to the ground but anyway um, this is not really the issue um, but i learned that it's that was funny things like why is it connected to these two well um, it's called a shunt but and to give well why is there a shunt it, it gives this antenna a much better um gives you a better swr for the um, um the longer frequencies but okay so this bolt here right is connected to this guy right here it's connected to th this piece of metal that goes into the car so here's the thing um, that I had to figure out and that is that these comet antennas, I'm sorry, these comet um, mounts do not conduct. So what I had to do is, I had to make sure to scrape the paint uh, in this hole that's here, and scrape the paint here, scrape the paint, scrape the paint inside the, um, the hole, and making sure that the uh, screws are also um, scraped off the paint. Then I had to take this apart, you know, take, uh, take this uh, screw and this screw and then scrape the paint uh, here and then uh, scrape the paint there. Um, so you have two pieces right here. Oh, let's see, let's see if this will cooperate. So scraping the paint on this piece, which is the, the thing that goes on the car, this piece and this piece in the middle, right here, in between, scrape that paint so that now 
this piece is connected to this piece here. And why would I want to do that is because it will connect to this screw. And then scrape the paint on this piece and this other piece here. Oh, by the way, also you have to scrape the paint in the middle over here. You have to unscrew this. Be careful when you unscrew these things. But you also screw, um, scrape the paint there. Now, you might say, well, if this is going to be scraped, isn't this whole thing going to be grounded? And isn't this where the antenna is? Yes. But smart thing that ma these manufacturers have done is that, yes, this, uh, this bolt, this bolt, hold on here. This bolt will tighten all this up. But this, plas this plastic here goes between this guy and thus shield it from the ground. And then here, this is where the antenna will go, okay? And then this one right here, um, this one actually, this one will go here, and then this one goes here, okay? That one will go in there. This wire right here, this wire, that wire is the center conductor that goes, apparently, it goes underneath the bolt right here. So the bolt is touching the center. Center conductor is touching this bolt, which is the whole antenna. But then the ground, where's the ground? Well, the ground is over here. Right here, this is the ground. This whole, this whole thing, this whole mount is the ground really, right? But I have the ground here. So that the shielding of the coax is connected to this, to the ground. Because the shielding is the ground for the coax. And like I mentioned before, this coil is a shunt and is between the center uh, conductor to the ground but it won't short this because it's a shunt. It also has a, um, a choke on, on, um, on, the, on the coax. Then I have, what, four turns or something, which is not a lot, actually maybe five, if you consider this one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There's five turns here, okay. See right there, five turns. Then that goes, um, for the outback, it was a little bit challenging. You have to take this trim out, and let me see. Uh, go over here. You gotta take this trim out with these tools. And I have a picture of where the tabs are. And then you uh, mount this, making sure that the screws touch the paint. And then this coax goes all the way around. When you take off this, this uh, panel, this trim, and then it goes here, you see, and here, and then goes the grommet. I gotta take out the grommet, it's very hard, um, but there's a plastic um, collar that you can take out. There's, there's tabs where you push in the tabs and you can pull out the collar if you're having problems putting this grommet, which you will. And you can see that the, this coax is not perfect, but it rained recently and no water got in. But I think I'm gonna give it a little nick here so I can put the, the cable in probably. Here's the same thing as well. This grommet, super hard to put back. Uh, maybe take half of it. Why? Because you wanna put the, the coax through here and then it'll come out over here, you see that? So this right here, this panel will be taken out. This panel, very hard to see, starts over here. There's a little, there's a little tab here that you can pop out and then pop out this. You'll, you'll be able to pop out this whole thing. Um, I think I have, a, I have a picture, but you can pop these out down. Coax 
for the diamond mount, very small, very, very small. Uh, less than 20 feet, I think, and it's, it's ridiculous. These, these cables should be much longer, especially if you're mounting them in the back and, you, and you're doing a choke. Sure, it's probably expected that you'll probably put the radio in the back over here or in the back of your seat, and thus you don't need as much cabling. But those people that want to have the radio in the front, you know, it would be nice if the cable was longer. Um, the number one thing, I think, when you're putting on these mounts uh, on, an, on an Outback or in any car, is that these screws right here, these screws, this, there's two here and there's two here, that needs to have um, a electrical path right here to the metal because believe it or not i was thinking of putting it here but this this is not metal you can even hear the sound right metal plastic this is plastic too this over here is metal because that's that's where it has to screw into the car but these screws here these screws are touching metal and then that metal is touching this metal that metal is touching this metal the body and then finally to make sure it's touching the body of the car is this i know this is touching the frame for sure and then I get my ground plane. And my ground plane is the thing that makes this go. If you don't have a good ground plane, that's why you don't have a very good SWR. Now let me show you some pictures <laughs> of the car here. Uh, for example, the trim. On the inside of the car, the trim that's underneath the grommets. I wanted to show you some pictures here get a sense of where the holes are <clears throat> and also what to expect when you pull out that panel as you can see that there's a lot of um, holes there here this is the side of the car and the trim I'm showing you the holes here these holes um, they have like these plastic uh, tabs that have like a pyramid shape where you just pop them out and they and they're of course <clears throat> the other half is on the um, on the the trim and you'll see here on this video here um, what I'm talking about I am um, filmed it a little bit slower here but you can see the holes are there and then also the uh, where the line went the coax that has to be adjusted but there's those are the tabs right there, those white things um, those are slided into their plastic setting there and they just hold they, they stay steady there so that you can snap them in um at least if, if you're working with an outback at least you'll know where the where the locations of these tabs are going to be so that you can use the tool to pull it out <clears throat> uh, and then you can see that uh, the grommet i took out the and that maybe might have been a mistake there Pulling it, pulling the whole thing out, but I had to because I had to slide in the the cable through. So in that point, I was I was getting frustrated trying to put that grommet back into that collar, but um, that wasn't that bad after I took out the 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 collar, take it off. Here you can see that uh, the first one that you can do, you can you can slide it out. But, oh, by the way, you see that thing on the left right there? Don't cut it or tear it or do anything. Apparently, that's a sensor or... To, that's what they told me in the, on Facebook, but I don't believe that. Um, all right. So, <clears throat> that's it. I hope uh, you have a great day. Um, come back and visit. Uh, this is Frank Whiskey, Charlie Zero Oscar. Bye-bye.